Does anyone object to this marriage? Bruce asked. I do! Give me back my daddy! Someone yelled. Seven months ago, my wedding was ruined for the first time. We were at our first ultrasound. Paul was angry we couldn't find out the baby's gender yet. I was upset our wedding had to be postponed due to his business trip. At the second ultrasound, the baby turned away and we couldn't tell if it was a boy or a girl. Paul found out his beloved aunt passed away. We postponed again to make time for mourning. The third ultrasound showed the baby was healthy, but Doc didn't see the gender. Oddly enough, Paul broke his arm the next day. Our wedding had to be put off yet again. I knew it was a big deal to Paul to know if we were having a boy or a girl. I took a special test. Paul was elated when hearing we'd have a son. He rushed home from the hospital and insisted on tying the knot, despite his hurting arm. I was happy. After two failed marriages, I dreamed of a complete family. I was shocked Paul had a child he didn't tell me about. A woman came into the room and said I knew nothing about Paul. I asked her if he had a lover. The woman said he did have one. And that lover was me. Turned out she was Paul's wife and they had three daughters. Paul told his wife it was all her fault that she was the one who had girls. He told me he chose me because I knew how to give birth to sons. He promised to be a better dad to his son, but I didn't want to see that scumbag. He showed up for my delivery. There was a social worker with him. When I got pregnant, Paul talked me into quitting my job and rented the house himself. Now, he took advantage of me having no job or place to live. Paul got my baby and sent his older kids to a group home. I watched his poor wife take care of my boy. But I had a plan. I headed to her place to make peace and talk to her. I convinced her even though she depended on Paul's money, that we were stronger together. It was way better than living with a man who treated us as mere incubators. I convinced her to surprise Paul. He found his stuff in the flower bed. His keys didn't work because we changed the locks. We took the house from Paul, then sued for child support. We work in shifts. We take care of our kids together, no matter whose kids they are or what gender. Would you be able to befriend your husband's lover?